for a random unboxing. So I, I'm doing this unboxing. It's not from a particular company. It's supplies that I ordered on Amazon, but I'm doing this unboxing because I have gotten questions in um, a couple of groups I'm a part of. I am a part of um, Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray's group on Facebook. Um, Crafters Anonymous, which is a fabulous group of people who do all kinds of crafts. Um, yes, there is an emphasis on diamond painting in that group, but I gotta tell you, uh, the talent from these people is rather, um, it's inspirational, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, a lot of them do the different crafts that I have done in the past. And watching their work, I don't know that I have any business continuing trying to do those particular crafts. But I, I'll continue because you know what? It's my therapy. So, um, but, and then I'm part of a resin group, Resin Crafters on Facebook. Um, that's another great group of people who are extremely talented when it comes to resin um, art. So I enjoy sharing, learning, um, in both of those groups. So, um, I'm just going to show you some of the stuff I got, um, to do different things in the shop. So let's, let's dive in. So one of my favorite companies to use when it comes to resin is a company called Let's Resin and everything they send comes in these awesome bags with this really cute logo. I have molds from them. Um, I am, I have a ton of molds from Let's Resin. They make great molds. Um, I am always trying to get a hold of their actual resin, but a lot of the times it is sold out and there's good reason for that. So this time, because I want to do some stickers in some of my um, resin pieces, I ordered a pack of a variety pack of stickers from them. Forgive me for the crinkling paper. There are 25 sheets in this pack and it is just a wide variety. These are just little woodland creatures, deers, deers, deer, <laughs> birds and bunny rabbits and some dogs there. Um, here's some Halloween stuff. I am not a Halloween person, gotta be honest with you, never have been, but I hear you. I hear you people. You are my people and my people want some Halloween stuff because Halloween will be here before we know it. So I hear you. I'm some little cat ones, some cute little sayings. These are all things that you can lay into the resin. Um, little Alice in Wonderland, holographic insert, little things. Those are cute. There are 25 of these pages, so I won't go through all of them. Oh yeah, I'll have to prepare for Christmas, which is my favorite holiday of all time. And I decorate my house in such a manner. I decorate every room that I can and I even switch out the dishes, don't judge me. We've got Little Mermaids and Dolphins, lots of stuff. So it just, like I said, there's 25 sheets, way too much stuff, constellations and planets, way too much stuff to go through on this video, but I absolutely love um, Let's Resin. These inserts are amazing quality. The detail on them is out of control. Um, love their holographic stuff. So these will be going into cover minders um keychains all of that good stuff so i am beyond excited to start that process okay so what would any of my resin be without alcohol inks and glitter so i have super fine glitter and that adds the sparkle. I mean, this is like powder and you kind of need that with resin because um, otherwise the, the chunkier 
glitters, if you don't give the resin time to thicken up, when you use those chunkier glitters, they will sink to the bottom. But if that's the look that you're going for, it doesn't matter much. But if you want sparkle all throughout, you need to use a super fine glitter. <laughs> this is not resin related at all. This is my dog's training collar because our yard doesn't have a fence and she loves to run out of the backyard. So, I'm gonna be training her not to run out of the yard. So I'll just set that aside, because again, that's not resin related at all. This is for special someone related to this. And some of you may know who she is. But aren't those gonna be cute together? So cute. I make weird noises and weird faces. Don't mind me. If you hear anything weird come out of my mouth. It is who I am, it's what I do. I think these are the resin pigments. Now, resin pigments and alcohol ink are two different things. Um, resin pigment, and you have to make sure you're using the right kind. They make for, they make pigments for epoxy resin. They make pigments for UV resin. The two cannot be used interchangeably. So, no. It's not my resin pigments. It's the mother load. So I'm obsessed with the child on the Mandalorian to a level that's probably not healthy to a level where I'm almost willing to pay $400 for that life size one but um, God intervened because I don't have that kind of money but I did get my set of the bounty figurines look at his little face oh Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And here's the other one. Yeah. So I wanna get my hands on the other two sets. There's two more sets. I love Baby Yoda. I've started collecting certain figurines. Um, Baby Yoda, and then there is this really wonderful um, creator, Dragons and Beasties. Um, you can find her on Facebook. Um, I have started collecting her figurines of her dragons. I currently have Ember. I keep looking up at the shelf where it's at. Hold on, I'll just go get her. So here is sweet little Ember. And I apologize for the dust on the box I need to dust that again but she comes with her cute little teddy bear and her little story but go to what is that dragonsandbeasties.com she does all kinds of things she um dungeon dragons dice there's a whole series of charms and collectibles and t-shirts, coloring pages, all of that. I absolutely love her work. I've been following her for years. Guys, I keep a notebook of creators I want to buy from because I appreciate their work. I appreciate their art. Sometimes you got to do that because um, I'm not rich. So I got to pick what I do and when I do it. So I will slowly but surely get all my baby Yodas. Back to resin related things. Silicone is your best friend when you're dealing with resin. Glass can be, those little glass measuring cups can be, um, but plastic and silicone are your best, but be careful with the plastic. It is not like silicone, so some things will stick, so you really have to be careful. Um, I buy the big thick mats from Amazon, Amazon Basics uh, Silpat mats. But you can also get these really large plastic ones. I'm gonna make noise, sorry. 
silicone ones, not plastic, silicone ones. And I will, sorry. All right, I will try and leave links to these products for you. But I love these very large silicone mats. They're great to work with, absolutely great to work with. You can lay all three of them out at once and create a really nice working area for yourself. I have a glass top um, desk, as you can see, because that helps a lot. I would never do silicone work on wood unless I've totally covered the surface with a garbage bag or something. Because um, resin, when it cures, it's not moving unless you're using like silicone or something like that. So, and this is the, I, this is a new, okay, of course I can't put it back like it. <laughs> it's just, it's a great idea. That's the first time I've gotten those mats in a bag and I think that's perfect. So I'll be ordering from that particular um, seller on Amazon again because that packaging is perfect. All right, again, I have heard you, my, magnet people, my diamond cover people, my diamond painter people, my cross stitchers, the needle minder people of the world. So these are shaker molds, but I am not super talented in making traditional shakers. So I'm going to, again, sorry for the plastic. I'm gonna use these to make cover minders. So this is a little stopwatch or pocket watch. Strawberry. Cat. The cutest hedgehog around. A little heart. I already have one of these but I need to be able to make more. Ice cream treat. This is, what was this? Was this the lock? What is this? I must research this shape again. If someone knows what this is supposed to represent, let me know, put it in the comments. Below, little moon shape, star, and this is a cute little watermelon slice so that set of um molds comes with the little sheets the clear sheets that i would cut and put on top but again i'm not i'm not great at that so what i will do is fill the cavities of these um with either solid resin colors or fun stuff and resin so um, I have also heard from my keychain crowd and we're gonna make more shapes for the keychains. Here we go with more plastic. So loud. Now that we all can have a moment of peace. I'm gonna make circles. <laughs> Cause that's exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna make circles for you guys. So we'll get creative with the keychains. We'll make circles. Everything won't just be a heart. And we'll make more magnets and cover reminders. My dogs just busted into my office. What's the use of shutting the door if they know how to open it? Go away. So, that's it 
I think I have occupied enough of your time. We are going to do big things in the shop. So I will link as many things as I can down in the description because I'm still learning how to do all of that. I am a newbie at all of these videos, but I appreciate you guys. You guys have a great day. <sighs> Enjoy your day wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you next time.